Hey y'all, it's Corey with Everyday Man, doing everyday reviews for everyday people. Now today, we're gonna be reviewing some retractable ratchet straps from Strapino. So y'all stick with me, we'll get with it right after this. Strapino reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review some retractable ratchet straps. And I said, sure, why not? Man can never have too many straps. So let's get into it. What they sent me was two of, of the two inch straps and two of the inch and a half inch straps. So let's go ahead and unbox them, see what we got. So this is an inch and a half ratchet strap. Wow. Now the box says the tough, toughest ratchet strap ever. Well, we'll see. All right, and we get a little pamphlet. Tells you the features. It's got a, the inch and a half strap has a breaking strength of 10,000 pounds and a working load of 3,300 pounds. All right. 30 day limited warranty. Gives you a little instructions on how to use them. So, all right. So I'll tell you, it is a very large piece right here. That might be a little awkward to use. It does have some very nice D-rings so you can wrap around and attach to itself. Man, this is really heavy duty. This, very nice. Now, this is the key right here. It is retractable. No more loose ends. I can see where that would be very nice. All right. So that's our inch and a half strap. And I will tell you, this thing is pretty heavy. It probably weighs a good five pounds. Um, and for an inch and a half strap, this is quite a large mechanism. But, uh, I can see we're not having loose ends would be very nice. Now this is gonna be the bigger one. This is the two inch strap. This thing's heavy. I thought when they, they sent me these boxes, I thought there was gonna be two straps on each one, but they're just big. Oh, wow. Okay. So we get the book with this one as well on how to use it. And let's see what the load limits are on the two inch strap. Okay, I've read the wrong one. So the two inch strap is the 3,300 pound working load with 10,000 pound breaking strength in the inch and a half. The smaller one has an 8,000 pound breaking strength and a 2,200 pound working load. Okay, so this is the big one, the two inch. Now this is a serious strap. All right. It comes with a little short strap for tying down with some very, very nice D-rings on it. Man, this is, this is a substantial strap. And these hooks are very nice. Now, the ratcheting part of this one. Man, it really works nice. It's, it's a lot smoother than you would think. Man, these are really substantial straps. And the only thing I can see, the only drawback to them is gonna be, their, the mechanism is a little bit large, but other than that, I think it's really nice. Yeah, so, uh, so Strapino says best ratchet strap ever. I'll tell you, they are seriously heavy duty and they, they look and feel really great. Um, now you're not gonna be able to tie down really small things with them because this takes up quite a bit of room. 
but it's gonna be really nice to strap down things in the back of your truck or on your trailer and not having to worry about the loose ends. The loose ends are always flying around and this is really gonna make the job a lot quicker. When you do attach your hook and you're trying to hold it and reach your strap across, trying to keep that tension so your hook doesn't fall out, you're not gonna have the issue with this because it's gonna pull itself taut. Taut, well not fancy. So yeah, so let's go, uh, we're gonna go make a run to Harbor Freight today. I need to pick up a toolbox and we're gonna be able to strap that toolbox down in the back of the truck with this inch and a half strap. So uh, I'll see y'all at the Harbor Freight. Here we are at Harbor Freight. I just picked up a toolbox and we're gonna go ahead and try out that strap, you know, strap and see how it works. <laughs> So we have this retractable side. Put that up there. And just like that, it keeps a little tension on it. That'll work. That was easy. That really did work nice. Just being able to pull it one hand, you don't have to worry about it falling out because it keeps a little tension on it. That's really nice. So let's go get it home and, and see what it looks like undoing it. See how easy it'll, it'll be. All right. We got it home. Let's see how easy this thing is to unstrap. <laughs> wow. So when it's laid flat like this, it won't retract. Hmm. So you kind of got to feed it in a little bit. But it's really simple. Probably because it's on the box. Could be. But that's it. It was really easy to use and it really went fast. It, well, you saw when I put it on how fast it went. But we're gonna bring it upstairs and do a wrap up. Let me be honest with you. When I first looked at these, I was a bit skeptical. It seemed like the mechanism was really big and, and it just seemed a bit awkward. But after using them just that first time, this was extremely easy to use. They, they were so quick, instead of having to fight with the ratchet strap and untangle it, untwist it, you saw how simple it was. I just pulled it across the box, it was ready to go. Ratchet it down, it's done. And, you saw when I went to remove it that I had to feed it in. It was, all I had to do was get the, the little thing lined back up, the little uh, the wheel that tightens the strap, line it back up, and it's good to go. So I gotta tell you, I really like them. This big one, there's it's gonna make it super easy to strap down my, uh, my Can-Am Defender with it. I got two of them, and that's usually what I put on the bike anyway, one in the front and one in the back. This is gonna make it extremely easy and quick. And a lot of times when you're trying to strap across a large flatbed trailer, you need somebody holding the other hook, the other side, till you get tension on it. This is gonna make it really simple to do. So I really do like these things, guys. I'm gonna put a link down in the description for you. I, I highly, excuse me, I highly suggest getting them. They, uh, they are really heavy duty, they're really nice, and I'm glad I got them. All right, I hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see y'all on Everyday Man.